Hi, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Jeffrey Schwartz. Um, I am a research psychiatrist at UCLA and my specialty has been for many years in obsessive compulsive disorder and I've specialized in the treatment of obsessive compulsive disorder using a cognitive behavioral approach that takes advantage on the one hand of brain information so knowing something about your brain um, turns out in my approach to therapy to have some therapeutic um, importance and also uh, the ish the the term which has been called mindfulness, um, mindful awareness, and I guess over the recent past I've um, preferred to start calling it the impartial spectator perspective um, and other terms that imply the same thing are meta-awareness and metacognition. So what, how did, so what are those terms mean and what does it have to do with the brain and why would studying obsessive compulsive disorder have any relevance to substance and pornography and other impulse control type problems. And let's take those questions sort of in the order of importance. So the most important, the most important is understanding this issue of awareness, attention, mindfulness, meta-awareness, metacognition, impartial spectator. So what the, the what do those things mean? They they mostly mean paying attention to how you're paying attention. Paying attention to the quality of attention that you're paying, how much attention you're paying, being aware of where your attention is and how your attention is directed. That turns out to be a very important thing in for everybody all the time, really. But um, it has a very large amount of importance for people with obsessive compulsive disorder and substance abuse, impulse control type problems, because um, in those two conditions, among others, people's attention is really driven by biological factors more, let's just say, in ways that cause problems more than in people who don't have problems like that. So that's where the beginning of the brain aspect comes in because once you realize that a person's brain can have a lot of effects on how they direct their attention and use the impartial spectator to realize hey my attention is being directed in ways that are not very beneficial to me and specifically ask the question why is this happening why does it seem so hard for me to control my attention why does it seem that in so many circumstances I end up getting fixated on things that um, I don't particularly want to be fixated on. And obviously, the, you know, there's alcohol, drugs, sexual behaviors, including pornography. The, you know, those, those are the big categories. Um, but it also can even include shopping and all kinds of things that people do when they're basically feeling out of control. And the, the word out of control term out of control to a significant degree really does in fact apply to your attention. Normally they would say it applies to your behavior and of course it does apply to your behavior. But but for your behavior to get out of control your attention has to get out of control because basically attention is the way you can control your behavior and the way you modulate your behavior. So on the one hand we have these conditions all of the conditions, all the major conditions that we're talking about today, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder on the one hand, but substance abuse and certainly alcoholism 
have been very well studied in, in this way, have genetic components. So there, there are aspects of your inherited biology that manifest themselves via your brain that have effects on your on how difficult it is and the sorts of things that you're vulnerable to in terms of focusing your attention.